Hi everyone. Uh, today we will uh, work with native module using Objective C. So we have an application in iOS uh, with Objective C, and we want to call from React Native call some function and module. Yeah, so we change a little bit the uh, initial projects. So we have a React Native Objective C. Okay. So. Um, uh, remove some un unnecessary uh, code and replace with the code. Uh, uh, okay, so in uh, this app component, we will call to the um, Objective C project, and inside the project, we create a new class. Uh, we have a co class class. No, because the task here uh, in is inherited from an S object. So the NS object next, and uh, we can see we uh, have a task manager. So the task manager so contains some function for uh, uh, relating to task management. And firstly, we import the React Bridge module. The React Bridge module is uh, um, co contains some of the protocol to. Uh, work with the React Native in uh, uh, in iOS project, and uh, it is a protocol named uh, React Bridge module. It is a part protocol to co contain some of the function. Uh, so uh, uh, you have to uh, implement this function. The first function here is uh, the some function for um, export module. And inside this, uh, if we do not have parameter, so then uh, the module name here is task manager. Okay, so uh, use task manager as module name. Uh, you can also change another name using uh, a React export module. Uh, and firstly, we have a function, a normal function with basic parameter. Uh, with basic parameter, we have a function with function name uh, to task one. The input parameter as string, like task name, and uh, input parameter like a number or uh, integer or uh, effort, for example. Uh, so you can add uh, more uh, more type to here, but. Uh, remember that the type here is uh, the built-in type of uh, iOS, for example, NS string, integer, uh, NS number, etc. So inside the function content, the function content can uh, do some relating work in native or in iOS. So uh, you can import the React lock. The React lock class uh, allow you to show uh, the lock or print out to the console um, using uh, uh, and then spot uh, supporting by React. Uh, RCT lock infra is a function to show the lock to uh, the terminal or in the console. So we have a RCT uh, lock infra so with uh, the a string template and the string template here. Do task with name with effort. Uh, effort is integer, so um, percent D and percent at uh, for for task name uh, as a string. Uh, so this is the first imp uh, you know, the, the the first function, the simple function. And uh, in native module, you can import this module inside. Uh, um, from the React Native, you import the native module uh, class from uh, React Native, and inside this native module, you can destruct, uh, destruct some of the the module, uh, our custom module, uh, by by destructing, destructing task manager from a native module. So in uh, component did mount after the component has been mount, uh, you call the task manager with do task one. Okay, so do task one is a function of uh, task manager. You can call this, 
uh, input parameter is uh, task name learn react native and the second is effort okay like here so do task name so you have to rerun again so it cannot be uh, auto reload because it is built and modified in native code yes so we we, we have the um, output here do task with name learn react native with effort uh, 90 percent okay and so we also have another function here we have a function with the dictionary uh, ns dictionary parameter so uh, the, the value here is huntable like key and value so we export uh, the method do task 2 we have the do task 2 with the uh, task name as string and param as ns dictionary uh, and it dictionary is uh, uh, a type of uh, a key and value uh, pair key and value pair like name email age etc uh, so it is uh, like object in uh, react native or in javascript so we uh, print to the console do task with param here yeah at uh, percent it is to display a uh, dictionary yes so we also call the do task 2 with the uh, login with user info and the input parameter or the dictionary here is a javascript object like name and uh, like email so you can add more uh, uh, property to here using this type of object nf dictionary and like object in uh, javascript uh, so we have name and email we call the function do test 2 with the uh, ns dictionary parameter yes and after running this you can see uh, that the, the output parameter you can copy and uh, search for the output lock yes yeah search for the output lock mm, yes so we have the output lock here uh, is do task with param okay we have the param uh, from uh, transmitted from uh, react native you know to here so after processing here um, it will do and uh, set um, do the task and do the result in this so what about the function with return value we, we have some function to return value uh, so we use a cone back we use cone back to uh, do some of the tasks um, because in javascript every function is asynchronous so um, you, you can use cone back here we use a uh, react response center block uh, react uh, response center block is a cone back function the cone back function call is called uh, in an asynchronous process and um, it uh, uh, is called when the result is present uh, for example we have a, a list of tasks a list of objects uh, after we uh, get some of the lists from uh, anywhere in the HTTP and the web etc and after that we um, we have a task a list of tasks and uh, the call back will be returned uh, if the task uh, the, the data is present so the uh, call back here is successful the first the first parameter of call back is uh, error and the second is result of the data uh, else the, the first call back uh, now is uh, an error an error maybe it's a, a, a string a string to display cannot find task and the second uh, now is null yes so we have a two case one case for successful and one case for um, unsuccessful uh, if it is uh, successful the the error may be noon nin and after that the and other way uh, the the error is uh, has value as string so after running this 
uh, I can see uh, that okay so so uh, you can call uh, task manager dot uh, get own task maybe because task manager now yeah here is a module yes so it uh, displays to the screen after you save the file uh, you you save this file uh, you can see the alert yes so the alert here um, is from uh, 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 objective C then uh, another way we can set the arrow like task is equal to nil and uh, the output here is cannot find task why because it is an arrow and the second is uh, data okay so uh, after calling the get on task you can see the output as a code match okay uh, this is uh, I know my lesson today about uh, how to grid function and code back from objective C then code it from react native uh, thank you so much for watching bye bye